as you've no doubt realized now the whole thing of systems analysis and design and implementation and testing comes together when you're starting to write these programs um, you're designing them you're putting them together and then you're going to test them at the end and then evaluation will come on to later on but for now let's just look at this so in terms of analysis um, you want to put together a, a program specification um, so for this particular program which is looking at um, creating a, a scoring system based on how many um, wins, draws and losses a particular team has then you're going to have to put together exactly what the program's meant to do so in terms of what it's meant to do for input what it's meant to do for the processing that happens and what it's meant to do for the output as well so here we talked about it in terms of inputting, multiplying and then displaying um, also in terms of analysis you want to create a little data for a diagram and it really is something as simple as this of course you could break that down but for something as simple as this program that really is um, a good enough diagram for what it does um, designing the user interface you want to uh, design exactly what it's going to look like on screen now this is going to have some input boxes that come up now they're just going to be standard input boxes so you don't need to draw them so this is going to be the actual um, output really of course you're going to use it for input to click on the calculate button on the left hand side the red button but really um, the figures that are going to be displayed are going to be in the um, the black rectangles on the right hand side and the most important bit is arguably uh, the bit on the bottom the total points gained which is going to do the calculation and display the calculation out there so um, this is displaying how uh, the screen's going to look when it's been designed in uh, Visual Basic and when it's used so we write some pseudocode, a little bit of pseudocode there of exactly the steps it should go through to get to where you want so when that calculation button is clicked that's the code um, or the steps that the program is going to take and of course that means that that code is going to be effectively attached to that that calculation button because when that's clicked that's what's supposed to happen and here we have the program as it's been implemented there's proof it's been implemented um, this is something that you're going to do over and over again in Visual Basic to practice and um, you can see the steps that have been taken you can also see some data that's been put into the actual system on the right hand side and you can see how that's done the calculation and it's produced the output looks a lot similar to the design doesn't it and it should do and then we come on to um, some testing so um, here's a little table um, testing should really be far more thorough than this but this does do some testing in uh, with normal data boundary data and erroneous data normal being what you would expect to be uh, put into the system boundary being like pushing it to the edges of what you expect arguably you could say that a hundred is not really pushing it to the boundary it should be in the thousands and things like that this is not perfect testing by any means at all and not thorough testing it's far less than what would be needed um, the erroneous testing that, um, that's been done here does bring up a, a couple of um, issues and that's talked about in the next slide. So in this summary really referred to those, um, those issues because um, it allows for negative data. Um, it doesn't bring up uh, any error message or it doesn't flag it, it allows it through and it calculates it. Now you can never have negative wins, you can never have negative draws, they're just losses so it shouldn't allow that so perhaps the program needs adjusting somewhat to uh, make those corrections and indeed um, there's there's only a VB error that really comes up in when text is put in and perhaps there needs to be something done to um, correct that and that's really what you'd refer to in the evaluation uh, these points here you will be flagging them up and talking about them and how you can improve the system don't forget no system is perfect but um, if, but testing should highlight where the faults with the system is some which are fixable and some which perhaps aren't so in summary this is um, the whole of um, a program um, designed and created and tested um, should show you a bit of systems analysis in reality <laughs>